Murphy got his foot in, Ambrose, no offside here, Darren Benford, Charlton, the angle's disappearing, needs help, Murphy's there, it's Bent and he scored! Took his time, picked his moment, and found the back of the net. It's a debut goal for Charlton's Darren Bent. There was no offside here, and rightly so. He's timed the run well. Looked for all the world as though Kelvin Davis might have done enough here in goal for Sunderland, but Darren Bent was just waiting, and when the opportunity came, he took it. Charlton in front after 10 minutes at Sunderland. Oh, it's up towards Gray. Brian Hughes away, and Bent will chase this. Coldwell is back. It's Bent, and it's three. What a super finish from Darren Bent. Two goals on his debut, and Charlton are home and dry now. Brian Hughes it was with the clearance. Only Bent and Coldwell were up there. Bent had no help and needed no help. Quite a start to life in the Premiership for this young fella. Off the mark and off the mark with two. Hey Murphy. Faced by Leighton Baines, Murphy does well to get away from Baines. Murphy still gets the cross as well towards Darren Bent here. Bent's third goal in the Premiership in two matches. It is the perfect start, the perfect end to a perfect week for Darren Bent. Three goals in two matches and an England call as well. First weeks don't get too much sweeter, but the goal made by Danny Murphy. And what a start to his Premiership career Darren Bent is having. The summer signing 2.5 million from Ipswich Town. Three goals already. Three goals and counting. Here's Powell. Charlton are looking for offside. Brian Hughes, Danny Murphy, Darren Bent, who'd love to get another goal, and he might do here. Bent, who scored in every game so far, scores again. Four in three games for Darren Bent. This young man is making a huge impact in the Premiership and on Charlton Athletic. It's 3-0 to Charlton, and Darren Bent has his name on the score sheet again. And was never in doubt once he got clear. Was not going to be caught by Ehiog or denied by Schwarzer. Danny Murphy and Bent waiting patiently in the middle. It's towards Bent, he's stolen in, Bent! It's his fifth, a proven goal scorer in the championship. And he's found his feet and his head in the Premiership. Stole away from the defender, downward header, no chance for Mike Taylor. And with nearly a quarter of an hour played, Charlton Athletic have taken the lead. Luke Young. <laughs> Sam, Darren Bent, what a fine header. He can do no wrong right now. Murphy. Over the top. He's onside, Bent. This is Bent. And that is goal number seven of the season for Darren Bent, who knows Sven Joran Eriksson is here. And will that goal be enough to get him into the England squad for the forthcoming World Cup qualifiers? Lovely finish. Beautiful ball over the top. Murphy hoping to catch the eye of the England coach. Bent also, and he gave Robinson no chance, and Charlton are ahead. 25 minutes gone, Charlton won Spurs nil. That's in. And fourth for Bent, and he's onside again. Could this be two? Got stuck up behind him. Oh, how confident was that? I thought the chance had gone. He knew it hadn't. Another goal for Darren Bent. And Charlton's lead is double. What a start he has had to Premiership football. Onside, clearly. Ledley King in the middle was playing him on. Oh, 
Oh, it was a beauty. No chance for Robinson. He looked up there, look. Perfectly placed. Bent on side and scores! It's his first Premiership goal since the first day of October. It's his tenth of the season and Charlton level. And he took this like there was never a doubt in his mind. Not great defending by Manchester City, but a very smart finish by Darren Bent. Young. That goes Hoot, he's left it short. Bent, 1-1. Quick as a flash. Robert Hoot's mistake. And in his current form, which has elevated him to the England squad, you just can't give chances like that to Darren Bent. Lazy, nonchalant piece of defending. Punished just as it should be by a striker in red-hot form. Chelsea's lead lasted four minutes. Paolo Cudicini has an outstanding record of saving penalties. He stopped five of the last ten that he's faced. Charlton together on the halfway line, watching Darren Bent make it 1-1. No hint of nerves there. That's a good run by Bartlett. It was a lovely cross, served up to him on a plate. He knows if he continues his scoring run, he must feature in Sven Joran Eriksson, England squads. Tackling, and Ambrose with a good through ball here to release his best friend, Darren Bent, who's away. Bent, away from the goalkeeper, Lucas, and finds the net for his 13th goal of the season. And Charlton now, with three minutes left for play, are surely in round four of this season's FA Cup. Ambrose through for Darren Bent, who took a touch away from David Lucas, the goalkeeper, and he found the goal to make it four for Charlton. Young half away, Brian Hughes completes the job. Bent chasing on here, Bent in behind Melchior, Darren Bent for Charlton, Bent makes the game safe! And punishes Birmingham and makes it two. Darren Bent, who scored the winner at St Andrews back in August, has made the three points safe and has broken the hearts and broken the resolve of brave, brave Birmingham. Bent out-sprinted Nadia Melchior, applied the finish, and nearly two minutes in added time, it is Charlton on the brakes. For anything. Well, we all remember his heroics from the penalty spot in Istanbul. Can he reproduce them here in south-east London? No! And completely against the run of play, it has to be said, Darren Bent gives Charlton Athletic the lead. If Darren Bent was involved in the penalty, and he's the man who stayed cool to convert this one. Credit to him. Can really look where he's playing that one, El Karkuri intercepts and lays a splendid ball through for Bent! What a wonderful ball, and what a wonderful finish, and Charlton are level. Well, oh, Big Sam will be loving this. Centre-half gets the first goal, and now he plays in this unbelievable ball. The only question is, how close is it to offside? Well, there's the answer. I think he's off. He's just slightly ahead. But he takes full advantage. What a ball in, though. No pressure on him. Manchester City allowed him to get his head up to play the pass in. The linesman kept his flag down. Goal number 13 at this level for the young lad. And again. On by Kishashev and a chance here for Charlton because he's onside and Bent scores. And Charlton have taken less than three minutes to find the lead. The clearance away to the halfway line. Beautiful flick on by Kishashev. 
Darren Bent clearly onside, and that's the sort of finishing we've come to expect from him. Another reminder to Sven Joran Eriksson of his goal scoring capability. He is the top English scorer in Premiership football, and that's his. Charlton crowd growing in expectation as their team push forward more. Perry's cross is a good one. Oh, yes! It's the danger man. It's Darren Bent. And that's goal number 18 for the season. It's goal number 14 in the Premiership. He got up there early and he seemed to hang. That's well done. Oh, it surely will. Darren Bent gets his second. It seemed to come out of nothing. Laid down by Kisishev. Luke Young put it into the six yard box. And Darren Bent arriving at the far post is now on that target of 15 Premiership goals. Two in the match, 19 for the season. Brings him down and concedes the penalty. Bent against Gibbon! Excellent penalty, kept it low. Shea Gibbon went the right way, but the accuracy and the power was too much for him. Sankofa, good header. Ryderson, looking for Darren Bent. He's got between defenders. Darren Bent for Charlton! A superb goal! He rediscovers his shooting boots! And his goal-scoring sharpness! Charlton have turned the game on its head! And Charlton could have turned the relegation battle on its head too. He finished so well with a cracking drive. Glance to see where the goalkeeper was. Pamaro was chasing. He held his nerve. He kept his composure. Well, it was comfortably struck. They have less than a quarter of an hour, but they have themselves a foothold. 3-1 now. So it's Darren Bent from the penalty spot to give Charlton the lead, and he drives it past Roy Carroll. Charlton's first Premiership goal of the season, in off the inside of the post. You'd have to say that was spot on for Agnes. Men of Charlton with a chance. Darren Bent. Against Jaskalainen, Bent scores, Bent succeeds where Duke failed and converts the penalty. And the ten men of Charlton have taken the lead against adversity. They hit the front. Knocked on by Hasselbank to Darren Bent here to finish it up. Yes! Darren Bent second, Charlton second. And there are two goals clear now. Charlton have doubled their lead with five minutes left for play. And surely now there is no way back for Bolton Wanderers. In thoughts about dropping Darren Bent and was probably relieved he decided to keep him in the lineup. Bent following up to score Charlton's second half winner. This stride, he might have been able to release Cleb. Horaitis and Ford and Hasselbank's onside here. Bent is square and scores! <laughs> Arsenal completely caught out. It's a long ball upfield by Herman Horaitis and Arsenal are looking for offside. Hasselbank wasn't and it's on a plate for Darren Bent to score his fifth goal of the season. Unselfish from Hasselbank. And Bent does right to offer his thanks to Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank for this pass. It's an unmissable chance. Thomas, it's a good turn. And Darren Bent. It's only half a chance, but he's taken it. And Chartner back in it.
Well, everyone seemed to stop Martin, didn't it? It was a good finish in the end from Darren Brent because he just had to prod it and he prodded it home well. Everyone stopped appealing for the penalty. Oh, ben didn't, he got on with it. You can see good turn in the box here. Diop, was it a pen or not? Referee didn't get it. That's a good stab home from there. And that's a little toe punt and a stab at the ball, but he knew exactly what he was going to do. And that's a good striker's goal for me. That's a good finish from Darren Ben. Doesn't have a lot of time to react. Gets the stab in, as you can see here. Thomas. Get us a lovely cross in, and what a good goal that is! It's Darren Bent. Charlton's top scorer puts them in front with his seventh of the season. It's a delicious cross. Thomas floating the ball, it hangs in the air. Darren Bent with the faintest of touches, directing it into the bottom corner. And bottom of the table, Charlton are in front against Manchester City. Reads corner. And it's come out to Thomas! It's in! A little flick from Darren Bent. And Charlton are level again. It's just about his first touch. But it is his eighth goal of this season. Charlton's certainty. It's a massive kick over the top of Kristen Vahl. Oh, the two defenders have left it! And Darren Bent has... al Corey long towards Darren Bent. Yeah! And he's put Charlton level! A rude one goal and Charlton back in business. And it's the ace goal scorer and the new captain who's done it again for them. Against the run of play, but they're right back in the game. It's a great ball from al Corey. But look, that ball's travelled a hell of a long way, and Mel Ball doesn't react. He's backing off, backing off. He's Ben's got behind him. It's a good header as well, because there's not a lot of pace on it, and he just has to direct it, you see. So he gets behind him. Good header. Kiroi hasn't got a lot of chance. But Mel Berg really has got to do a lot better than that. You shouldn't be getting beat by a 60, 70 yard ball on the angle, straight in like. Hasselbeck strong in the challenge and Darren Bent's onside. This could be 3 0 before half time. It is. Charlton Athletic here have a lifeline for survival. And West Ham United on this form will go down. Despair for Alan Kerbishley of West Ham at his former club. Strength in the challenge from Hasselbeck. Then beyond a flagging back four. The pass alongside Anton Ferdinand, no cover, 3 0. Charlton have looked sharper and hungrier. At from the spot, the top scorer, but my goodness, Feynman came close to saving this. The power took it in. And what drama we have at the back. Held up by Julian Lescott. Chance perhaps for Darren Bent here. Oh, and Bent has scored! Oh, what an extraordinary finish here! 89 minutes exactly! What a big point this could be for Charlton. Lescott's late goal looked to have won it for Everton, but never count Charlton out, not when Darren Bent's in the side. Samba beaten by Marcus Bent, there's Warnock. Oh dear, Darren Bent's in! Lifeline for Charlton! A defensive howler at the other end. And it's given Charlton all the impetus in the world. Now the trip seems worth it. What was Stephen Warnock thinking? He heads it against his own crossbar, and Darren Bent reacts like the true goal poacher he is to make it 1-1. Breedley's absolutely helpless. Charlton 
Hampton and still fancy themselves to find a winner. And why not? Here's Thatcher. Awkward one for Pedelli. And it's Darren Bent on the follow-up. Pedelli kept it out first time. He couldn't keep it out second time. And Darren Bent has scored his 15th goal of the season. And Charlton have the lead once again at Anfield. And that could well be Darren Bent's final 